sandwiched between Mazeroski Way. And now it's going to be Joe the Fish. This Joe is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. In the dirt, blocked. And now a man into scoring position. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. It's for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. In the air, out towards right center. And there's two away. One down. Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. The 0-2. Ground ball right side could be two. On the Bogarts. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Back here in Pittsburgh. On to the fourth. Stepping in for San Diego, Joe Fish. The pitch. Well struck right field. Rodriguez reaching back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first. One oh. Tosses across the first. That's the second out. Up next to the Padres, the third baseman, Manny. And now it's Rowdy Telez. The first baseman, Rowdy Telez. With the tying run at the plate, you're in game one of this three-game set. On the ground, two ball. On to Bogarts. Double play. They can't seem to break. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, Joe Fish. Means back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And oh. that's down it away. Ripped base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Machado. The one one. Ground ball could be two. Aguero up to second, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. As a former player, watching five four, well, he does a nice job of coming in and getting the save. He made a mistake with the pitch, gave up the solo home run, but he maintained his focus to push through to the finish line. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres. Three runs, six hits, with one error. So digging in, that Joe cool. Fish. The second baseman. Joe Fish. There's a swing and a drive. That's a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. 
to second, pulls him off the bag. And if you're the pitcher, you can't be frustrated. You know this is going to be the toughest batter that you face tonight, and you're going to have to face him a couple of times. So you just tip your cap and hope that you can get the next guy out. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level playing at night. And that one is lifted in the air. Blanco right there to make the grab. Runner tags at second, applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. Man, you have to be sure if you're tagging from second base. Two outs, runner at first. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, O'Neill Cruz. Left-hand batter waits. And he grounds one to the right side. Throw over to Cronenworth. And the inning is over. Pirates leave one. They trail it here, 3-0. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. Well struck left field. Reynolds going back, and he brings it in on the warning track. Leover Paguero, the next pirate to hit. Third baseman, Leover Paguero. The one two to the right side tosses the first and there are two down well he's doing a nice job of now keeping the ball out of fielder. the air lets the defense yeah. work behind him with another ground ball good now batting. he's Second not base. gonna get cheated up there no, no he's not he's yeah. looking to do damage with every swing he takes and there's a fly ball deep right field that one carrying. Goodbye, home run. There we go. A monster shot to right. It's 5-5. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that. We're up 6-5. to five. Uh oh John Means. So he's not a starter right now. He's out of the bullpen. Because this is the second time I faced him in the series. Huh. Is he... Pitching in the big leagues right now, like, he's, is he, I know he had, I thought he was, he's still with the Orioles, I think, in real life, I think. I haven't seen much of him. He get an, uh, Tommy John surgery, I think, last year, but sometimes pitchers just disappear for several years. There we go, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. He was all over that one. Now nice man. job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside. To second, and he's out. That sucks. I didn't wait long enough. <laughs> Back here at PNC Park, bottom of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. On the ground, right side. Throw over to Cronenworth, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter. Next up is the cleanup spot for the Padres. Joe Fish. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Swings through that one for strike one. Broken bat, roll it to first. Wide throw, and it gets away. Now back, left field, Randy Arozarena. Now it's Randy Arozarena. see if he gives him anything to hit here and it's ball four he missed down low definitely lost the handle during that sequence four pitches for the walk and that last one didn't even threaten the zone catcher might want to go talk to him next to hit stone garrett here's the 0-2 
Straight three. Got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Tatis waits. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Got him. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Well, at this point of the year, first day of the summer, teams are really starting to figure out who they are. No more excuses about cold weather or any inclement conditions. Now I think we'll start to see the what this team is really made of game as game we move forward. For the victorious San Diego Padres, nine runs, 14 hits. And first offering is fouled off. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one's back there. And it hits the fence. Here comes Bogarts around third. Run scores easily, and the Padres strike first. It's 1-0. The throw to third, and he's out. Try he provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. That to right, Blanco, as this one sized up, makes the play, and it's out number three. One left for San Diego, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Jack Sawinski, the next Pirate to hit. And the right-hander deals. And that's a base hit. Up next to the Pirates, the first baseman. One out, runner at second. And here's the catcher, Henry Davis. The pitch. And right back to the mound. To first, now two away. The right fielder, number four. Swing it a foul straight back. The pitch. That's outside. Two outs. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sawinski sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is that. But they push across one run on two hits, including the homer. No errors and no one left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's Next is the designated hitter. The designated hitter. Garrett. Three holo. And now the lefty. On the ground right side. Four. Six. Three. Double play. And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full. It's the Pirates' eight. Back here in Pittsburgh, all set for the start of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Joe Fish. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, digging for two. Throw is offline, and he's got a double. Well, Singy, he is locked now, in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he's squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Now it's Randy Rosarena, Right-handed reliever. 
That's a base hit. Fish around third. He'll score, and it's 8-4. Oh, the throw is over his head. He kind of muscled that one out there. Didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. Next for the Padres, Joe Fish. <sighs> and first offering is fouled off. Is just one strike away. There we go. It's a double. Right Might score two. Struck. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. One run across. Relay throw home. Hey, we're down seen. just it's two. Holy hey, right smoke. Come on, Randy. On Hit it. Tie us up. Such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap. We're going to walk. I mean, sure. Home Our strike out. Okay. <laughs> Brilliantly despite the yeah, I played brilliantly. I'll give myself that. Three for five with three doubles. No question. Oh, he was a so big one the series, Fantastic but. effort at the plate, even in defeat. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with. And stepping in for the Cardinals, the Tommy Edmond. Lewis, the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. And a pitch. On the ground, right side, Fish. And they get Edmond for the out. That is second. The right fielder of the three, Dylan Carlson. Bottom of the second. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Joe Fish. For the right hitter back to work. Michaelis, a former All Star. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, a curve, and he works in a changeup. of the pitch hit pretty well in the air out to center Thomas makes the catch and there's one gone this is Dylan Carlson rolled a short possible two ball off balance feet there's one double play what a twin killing to end the inning He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. In the air, left field. Guriel handles the chance, and there's two down. Now batting. No left fielder. One down. Dylan Carlson digs in now. Base is empty one away as we play game one of this four-game series. And he grounds one to the right side. Slings to first. And there are two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Guriel has it sized up. Makes the grab. Two down. And the batter now, Jordan Walker. 
You have to be careful throwing and breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. On the ground to the left. Sneaks through, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Well, this turned out to be an exciting, very well-played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come out in the ninth, the crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this. For the victorious San Diego Padre, run six hits. Ready to go. Now it's the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. And he'll one. Right side. Throw over to Cronenworth. One up, one down. Bottom of the inning. Leading off, Joe Fish. And he deals. And a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through in the middle of the field. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. To third, Wisdom. Fires to second for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some of them. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And that one fouled off. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. One out, base is empty. On the ground to third. Throw is high and over no, his head. It. And it's going to wind up out of play. No problem fielding that one. And the transfer looked good. But, man, he sailed it across the diamond and out of play. It looked like he just tried to put too much behind it. Cost him an extra base, too. And it drops in. Fish coming home. He's safe. <laughs> well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. Up next to the hopper, the second baseman, Joe Fish. Edmund whips it to first, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars. They're down 7-1. to one. Tommy Edmund at the plate. Grounder might be two. And that chance handled. Off balance feed. There's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. No runs. So digging in, Joe Fish. One for three. Right side, and this should do it. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Cardinals even up this four game series at a game apiece. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory? But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. Our final he navigated through this ball game, first a jam here, a jam there, there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding on outing. Even 20 hits. One error. They left 18 runners on base. For the Padres, one run, four hits, no errors. They left five runners on base. Joe Fish now at the plate. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one carrying. Goodbye, home run. That's worth the go. Of admission. Is there 40? 38. 38. 38. Okay, we're 38. I didn't know what number we were at. We haven't hit one in a while. Come on. We're still losing to the Cardinals. Oh, it's a hanger. I didn't get it out, though, but we get an RBI double. We get an RBI double. He'll score, 
And it's now a two run game. Now the throw comes Come in. Come on, game team. We got to win this. Well, Nobody out. We got to score her. Well, really Come on, Tatis. Get us in. Down, Single like scores a pair. Speed and everybody is a step or two behind. Okay, a walk when also doesn't hurt us. Come on, Randy. Come on, Rose Arena. What do we got? O2 County got strike out. Oh, didn't strike out. That works. You're going to get double play, but at least you got to run. You didn't get an RBI for that. Eh, could have been worse. <laughs> Come on. Get in there. Ah. Yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. And yeah, the right hater deals on the ground. Why does it have this animation here? Throw over to Cronenworth. Weird. And they get Edmond for the out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's like early, you. but you still want to. Seven to four. Come on, man. Ugh. <laughs> Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Yeah, it was definitely fooled. Measures <laughs> six feet two inches, just 19 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. Ah, There's a swing missed it. And a drive. Maybe I didn't. No, I think I did. Drop step going back. We didn't miss it. Okay, <laughs> we got enough of it. Wow. Another homer, his second home run of the game, and they inch closer. It's seven five. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing in the back. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the right. Fires over to first. And that is out number two. Now batting, third baseman, Patrick. So digging in now for San Diego, Joe Fish. He's already homered twice, the last one back of the fifth. It seems like he can't miss right now, seeing the baseball as well as anyone on the field. Now, I know the odds are against him, but who's going to bet against this guy right now? Swing and a pop-up. He's under it. Squeezes it. Two away. Every team wants a reliable closer, and that's exactly what he delivers for his squad. They expect to win when he's on the mound at the end of the ball game, and he just produced his 25th save of the year. For the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, eight runs on 11 hits, no errors. They left. Joe Fish, the next to hit, the second baseman, Joe Fish. And a foul ball. Come on, let it fly right here. The 0 1. And oh, delivers right outside. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Leaping and he makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. He scores on the sack fly. It's 2-1. So many times that one gets out of here and into the seats, but he'll take the sack fly RBI. Good job to get that run in from third. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire Now this one gets through. Here comes Bogarts around third. He'll score and the Padres take the lead. Three to two. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so... I think now he'll be back. happy with the that w swing. Here. Definitely generated some good bat speed. At the belt and fires. That's to third. Wisdom. Throws to second for one. On to Goldschmidt. That's two. That was a much needed double play right there. It gives him a really good shot at. 
back here in San Diego. And now the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. Up the middle. And that one handled. Now a jump throw. And a quick out number one. Well, oh, we talk about how the... Now he breaks his bat. Makes the grab one down. Up next for the Padres, the designated hitter. And up next for St. Louis, Patrick Wisdom. With the tying run at the plate. And we're the top half of the sixth. Hit on the ground might be two. Bogarts tossed to second. And that's two. No runs, no. So two down, Joe Fish, the next up for the Padres. One for two. And that one fouled off. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Sizing this one up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Padres leave one. Two outs, runner on first. Joe Fish, the next up for the Padres. One for three. And fouled off. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. That smacked on a line to center. And that is the third out of the inning. For San Diego, back here at Petco Park, stepping in, Stone Garrett. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. First and second, no outs. Now the left fielder, Gavin Sheets. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that is a big first out. First and second, one out. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Oh, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. This could end it. Bounce to third. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Cardinals hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back. All right, let's open these packs. I got a bunch of them. That one's a good one. The diamond pack is good. Let's open the rest of these first. I got these for the... These are random, right? They're not like... Meaning like it depends... It, it could be diamond. It could be gold. It could be silver as we've got two silvers, which I don't care about because I'm not going to use them. And this, I have no idea. Oh, what is this? Oh. Is that a ritual? Legendary call. Huh. Well, this is... Let me get this. I think that's good. No idea. It sells for 4,000 stubs, so it must be good. Oh, we get all three of these. I forgot. Yeah. Power three. Lead off magic. See, I don't want any of these probably. Well, we'll see with power. We'll see if the power one is any good. I've got power four, contact. Oh, I already have power three. Oh, wait, that's not diamond power three, though, is it? 
Uh, no, it's not. Wish I could get vision. <laughs> there, that's, oh, you could tell by the, the color. See, that one's diamond. This one's silver. Power four. Do I not have a diamond? Power four? Power two must be the highest I got in diamond. Huh. Yeah, power four is silver. Oh, I need to get some more power in the diamond form. Okay. Now let's check out the equipment here. Yeah, we didn't get any better batting gloves, of course. Actually, those aren't terrible. Oh, that's the ones I have equipped. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Cleats. Okay, we had... What was it? Diamond. Was that a ritual? Oh, batting grip. Perfect. Oh, look at this. Plus five division. Look at this. I didn't have a, a good thing. I took that. I didn't have a batting grip before. Nice. All right. That upper overall at all? Or ninety three. It doesn't. I wish it showed the stats there on the screen. I know what. Like I know that. I know. Yeah. <coughs> oh well. All right. Well, that'll be the end of this episode.